Big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this channel happen. If you also want access to my online swing dance school, consider supporting us on Patreon. Jamin here, make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss anything. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a solo jazz competition at Savoy Cup 2022. Anytime you see the, the term solo jazz or authentic jazz or Charleston competition, that basically means any type of improvised dance to swing music that doesn't have a partner connected to it. It's just you dancing by yourself. And so this one is a very ambiguous type of competition. You know, you really are judging what you think people could do in terms of like the old moves. Can they do those moves well? Can they nail them? But yet at the same time, you don't want them to exclusively just do those moves. You want them to actually balance that with some type of unique personality. And so for me, that's exactly what I look for in these competitions. And I really hope I'm inspired by what I see today. So let's get right into it. Let's get straight to business. Loving that logo, Savoy Cup. All right, we got a, looks like a floating camera from the top. This is good. Ah, okay, good, good. All right. Hey, Carla. Okay, okay. A rescue. Okay. All right. Elsa. Trumpet player, though, <laughs> smashing it. See, whoever gets the, the trumpet on their solo is just such a great advantage. Okay, like that spin with the control break right after. Yes, Sophia. Come on.
Hey. Yes. Yeah, I like that. So it's going to speed up. And some dancers are really going to shine on it when the tempo gets a little faster. Hey. It's hard to sit here and watch this and not move. It really is. Break. Here we go. tell you what was good that I really really liked because good is really subjective right let me tell you what I liked now I must say guys all of these dancers crushed it and they crushed it mainly for the fact that they put themselves in front of a staring audience <laughs> with live music and put the, all of their ideas on the dance floor they were improvising they were having fun and I will say that People who typically do this have the personality to do it. But again, that doesn't take away the fact that it takes guts to get out there in front of all these people and put your best stuff out there. So congrats on everybody. 
And with that, listen, there were three dancers that really, really shined for very specific reasons for me. Now, I got to say my third place person, when I when I talk about how I judge competitions, I always vacillate between these three concepts. We have um, control, uh, which is basically the technique. Can you show me like the, the most fundamental swing moves, either with a partner or without a partner in this case? Control. Then we also have timing. How you look with the music. What's happening with the music? And can you amplify that visually? And then I also want to see creativity. That's that's the full package. That's your personality, uh, the technique, all of those things together that really make it clear that you are the one that has those three qualities. And man, this this was the greatest competition for that. I love being able to do the solo because you can really see those three things very clearly without any partners being attached to uh, the, the, the dancer that's doing it the best. So take a look, guys. I love, uh, let's see, um, Elsa. Yeah, she's my third place uh, dancer because of her technique. I When I see her, I see the basic jazz moves from that time. Her slow portion, I see slaps, I see all the basic footwork. It's really good. And she had the energy that I would say that matched the music too. Now, her second set is what I really like too because it really demonstrated the control I was looking for. As you can see here, um, now this is still this is still her slower set right here, but um, her she's moving faster and she's not losing that control that I like to see. Now in her fast set, um, as you can see guys, it's just so beautiful seeing her come out here. I was super impressed by how fast she's able to move and still retain the control of her body. This is what I love about this one. It's super cool to see that. Um, a lot of dancers just kind of unravel when the tempo gets faster, and uh, she didn't do that. So she's my third place person. And guys, great, great job uh, on that for everybody who performed. But she, again, she crushed that thing that I look for for the third place spot. Now, my second place dancer... This was really interesting because she grew on me uh, based on her second set. And this dancer, let's see here. I'm really happy that they put the names out in front. This is Carla. Now, when she comes out, to me, she really epitomizes the timing of the music. Her moves were less complex and less busy, but she had this natural groove with her movement. And this is something that people lose touch of when they do swing dancing. They learn all these different moves and then they forget that there's this natural essence that you must have that really is rooted in the swing rhythm. And so for me, she really encapsulated the swing rhythm the most when it came to my third place person and my second place person. She's, she's right there, um, basically able to get second place in my mind because she's simply more grounded that's the word i'm looking for and i and i love to see that when dancers can actually do less and make those movements more impactful than doing more with great control and in in a way not having that rooted timing with the groove of the music so i love seeing that uh that's really hard to do i think it's harder to do when you get better at the dance you you tend to want to do more things but she was great she was really really good and then my third place person, oh man, this was, she's not my third place, but this is the third video. Uh, my favorite dancer out of all of them. And I think she, this dancer had the full package. She had the control. She had the, the timing that my second place person had, but I really think she had the personality. And there was a, there was a tightness to her movement. There was so much intricate syncopations that she just crushed it. I didn't see any weak moments. And this dancer was KT. Now look at Katie when she comes out. Even on those moves where her leg pops up like that, I can clearly see the swing rhythm. Boom, boom, boom. Right back to something smooth after that fast tempo. And she's, she's doing a lot of quick rhythms with her feet, but she's not allowing that to overshadow um, her dancing. A lot of times people end up doing a bunch of crazy fast movements, but yet they lose touch of what makes the dance look vintage. And a lot of times that has to do with the upper body's control while the lower body is a little bit faster. Now, this this is great. I loved her fast tempo. I love her slow tempo just all together. She just had all of the things that I look for 
And I got to say, I was on the edge of my seat. I was actually entertained. I wanted to see where, <laughs> honestly, I was looking to see where she was going to mess up. I was like, it, it can't be this good. Can't be this good. But she crushed it. She crushed it. And I'm happy I got a chance to watch that. Um, big shout out to the band too. They crushed it. Guys, what did you think? Who was your favorite dancer? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to hear you guys' opinion. And don't forget, guys, these are people's feelings. They're putting themselves out there. So don't be super bold behind your computer and say things that may not be nice, but you can be constructive too. So keep that in mind. Let me know who you thought was the winner to you in the comment section below. With that said, hopefully I get a chance to see your comments. And if I don't, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.